सो एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू कट 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 टू क्रिएट रेस्ट ए पी आई दे मस्ट बी सम डिटेल्स जस्ट लाइक यू शुड हैव पाथ एंड देन आफ्टर डैट इट शुड बी इन्वोकिंग सम डेटा एंड इट शुड हैव सम लोकल होस्ट पोर्ट नंबर सो दिस दिस डिटेल्स हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कन्फिगर इन दिस सो नाउ एज यू कैन सी दिस वी हैव क्रिएटेड द फंक्शन सो जस्ट बिलो हैंडलर वी हैव टू राइट इवेंट्स जस्ट टू यू नो पास द मैथड एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली दिस इज एच टी टी पी एस और एच टी टी पी और द पाथ सो फॉर द कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू राइट इवेंट्स हीयर एंड देन अंडर द इवेंट्स यू हैव टू राइट विच रिक्वेस्ट इज दिस विच इज एच टी टी पी एंड इन अंडर एच टी टी पी यू हैव टू राइट मैथड विच विल बी गेट एंड देन पाथ विच विल बी हेलो ओके सो ए पी आई वी वन सॉरी ओके सो इन दिस एस टी टी पी यू कैन सी दे इज अ मैथड एंड दे इज अ पाथ सो एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू यू हैव टू मेनटेन दीज गैप्स सो डोंट फर्गेट टू मेनटेन दिस गैप्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट मेनटेन दिस गैप्स द ए पी आई इज नॉट गोइंग टू रन सो प्लीज मेक श्योर ऑफ दैट ओके सो नाउ आफ्टर दिस we have configured this http method and after this what we have to do for invoking any function there are two options here first one is either you deploy these functions to aws or some other service providers or you can test in a local host so for the local host you have some uh, configurations in your yaml file if you know if you want to test in the local so for that there is one module which is serverless dot offline so that module is available in uh, npm or you can just uh, go to the github profile and in if you'll check the documentation of serverless offline so you can see this npm install serverless offline save dev so through this you can install the serverless offline and through plugins so you know uh, you know either you create your all the functions or deploy to some service providers this that is not going to run for every functions right so you have to test those functions as a locally so locally testing you have to run, you have to install this serverless offline now as you can see before installing those things we can't see the package.json and package.log.json here so for that we haven't created npm in it this project so what we have to do now we have we have to write npm in it which will be yes so now this npm has been created in our project so as you can see the version then name then all those things right so <clears throat> okay uh is this refreshed okay now we are going to install npm install here so it will install all these things now you can see this log json file and the package package .json file so just we have to just change the name of this project api name and now we have to install this serverless offline to test locally so i'm going to install this so it will take some time like 30 seconds or 40 seconds so if you want to mention anything in the description so you can mention it and then after that we are going to write our script to invoke this serverless offline so how we are going to do the, do that just wait for the time okay now it installed our serverless offline in our dependencies so as you can see this this is dev dependencies in that there is serverless offline which has this 5.12.0 version now you have to write the port number right so i am going to just create one script which will be dev in that dev i am going to create one script which will be sls offline oops offline start okay we don't write dash before start 
then dash port and the port number which will be 8484 like whatever you, you want to write the port number so now we have created this script and then after what we have to do you have to jump to the serverless.yaml file so all thing has been set we'll jump to this function in this functions let me just create a log successfully executed okay so as you can see we have created one dev dependencies here and one script so for invoking the see if you don't want to write this script here you can just write this serverless offline start port 884 in your terminal so it will go it, it will invoke your api right so you know uh, for every uh, <clears throat> cut so as you can see this is very long command so i'm not going to write for every functions or for every api so i have just created a script here which will be dev script so now what we are going to do we are going to write npm run dev so this is the invoking of script so now as you can see this okay i got some error which will be serverless offline not found okay so what we forgot we forget to add plugins here in our yaml file right so we have to add here as a plugin so whatever you are installing the module you have to mention this module detail this module name in this plugins below of this plugins because if you won't mention here this yaml file isn't going to read that module whatever you are using in your gs file right so i have mentioned this plugin in this so as you can see i haven't mentioned and what it says the command offline not found right so now we are going to invoke again okay as all oh, that it shouldn't have offline serverless command offline not found offline sls offline start let me check okay still got some more error cut 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 